Hey guys, Maiko is back. I know I haven't been posting as much lately, maybe just one or two videos a month, but don't worry, we're back now with fresh energy and brand new ideas. Today we're revisiting an old niche, but with a completely new style. I've seen a lot of channels making videos about this, but in this video, I'm going to break it down in the simplest way possible. And the best part? We'll be using free tools so that anyone can start making money online, especially with AdSense. So let's go! Quick break. If you're a content creator, listen up. Editing long videos into shorts is a pain, right? That's where Nexus Clips comes in. Just upload your video and it finds the best, most viral moments, cuts them, captions them, and boom, ready to post on TikTok, Reels, or YouTube shorts. Even with all of YouTube's new updates, you won't have to stress. Nexus Clips keeps your content sharp and ready to perform. I've been using it and it saves me hours every week. Seriously, if you're not using it, you're falling behind. Want to turn your long videos into viral shorts automatically? Let me show you something cool. With Nexus Clips, you can upload a video from YouTube, Twitch, or your computer, and the AI does all the work. It analyzes your video and picks the best moments with a performance score, like this one. 85% viral potential. Not happy with the results? Just hit Generate New or create your own clips manually. Then you can fully customize everything. Change the layout, add hooks, stickers, and subtitles. Adjust colors, fonts, shadows, even glow effects. And once you're done, hit share to post directly or download it to your device. Want a discount? Use the coupon code MICO at checkout to save. Try Nexus Clips now. Link in the description. Before we dive in and to build some trust, let's take a look at the results first. Now, here's the idea. Before working on something, we should understand it well. Today, we're talking about a new style within the sports and training niche and how you can create high quality videos in this niche without paying for any expensive tools. Let's check out some real examples. There's a channel called Yellow Dude that helps beginners with fitness tips and exercise tutorials in a healthy way. This channel has gained more than 1 million subscribers, and even though it's a bit older, last month it made around $25,000. Hard to believe, right? Now let's look at a newer channel called Captain Workout. With just 34 videos, including shorts, he gained 126,000 subscribers and made about $5,000 in a single month. That's an amazing start for a new channel, so why not take the leap and start a channel like this yourself? Don't worry. If you watch this video until the end, I'll explain everything step by step. From brainstorming ideas and writing scripts, to creating and exporting videos, all in the easiest way possible. And if you run into any issues, you can always message me on Telegram. Just send me your question or a screenshot of the problem, and I'll help you out to save time. All right, guys, let's begin the work. A guy texted me on Telegram asking how his channel is performing in this niche, and that actually gave me the idea to create a full tutorial about it. So today, I'm going to walk you step by step through the exact process I use to create characters for a gym-themed YouTube channel. We start by generating the main character. You already have the base prompt. You can keep it as it is, or customize the colors, body type, outfit, or facial style depending on your brand identity. Once you're happy with the prompt, you simply send it to ChatGPT and wait for the AI to generate the first image, just like the example you're seeing on screen. From here, you have two different options for creating more poses. Option one, create each pose manually, one by one, if you already have a storyline or specific ideas in your head. Option two, copy the second prompt, which asks ChatGPT to generate multiple variations of the same character in a single image. This makes it easier and faster to build a full pose pack. You can also ask ChatGPT to suggest extra prompts if you run out of ideas. Once we finish generating all the poses we need, the next step is to create a matching background. So I ask ChatGPT to generate a gym style background with the same art style and lighting, so everything looks consistent inside the final video. After that, we download every image, one by one, and head to a background removal site. We upload each character image and remove the background cleanly, so we can use the character as a transparent PNG in editing.
When this step is done, we download all of them again, this time in PNG format, and they're now ready to be placed on top of any scene when we start editing the actual video. Now it's time to create the script. There are two main methods you can use. Method 1. You copy the link of a successful channel in the same niche and ask ChatGPT to analyze the channel for you. It will give you ideas based on what's already working, and from those ideas you can choose one and ask ChatGPT to turn it into a short 45-second script. This method is faster and beginner-friendly. Method 2, my preferred method. You grab a piece of paper and a pen, and you create your own original idea first. Just outline the key points of the story, the hook, and the message you want to deliver. Once your idea is written down, you copy it into ChatGPT and ask it to rewrite it with a stronger hook and better pacing for a short video. When the script is ready, the next step is to convert it into voiceover. For that, we go to 11 Labs, choose one of the free voices available, paste our script into the box, and click Generate. After a few seconds, the voiceover will be ready, and you can download the audio file directly, simple and clean. Now we need a background music track. We go to Pixabay and search for suspense or sports style music because those usually work great for this niche. Before downloading, always check the copyright license to make sure it's free for commercial use. This way your channel stays safe and you don't risk any copyright claims. Once we have the music, we open CapCut and import all the assets we prepared earlier. The first thing we do is change the aspect ratio to 9 to 16, which is the standard format for YouTube Shorts and TikTok. Next, we add the background image and stretch it to match the full duration of the voiceover. After that, we apply a slight blur to the background so the character pops out more. Now it's time to place the character animations. We synchronize the movements with the voiceover. To do this, we cut the character PNG properly, then add it to the timeline. For animation, we can either use a simple slide-up transition or for more cinematic movement, we use keyframes manually. For example, we place the character slightly below the frame, add a keyframe at the start, add another keyframe a little later with the character fully visible. This creates a smooth entrance effect. We repeat the exact same process for all other poses and scenes until the entire video is assembled. If we want to show a second character in front of another one, we just add a blur to the first character layer so the depth looks more realistic. Once everything is placed, we play the video again to review it, and if necessary, we add text overlays or captions to emphasize important moments in the narration. To make the video more dynamic, we can also add arrows, circles, or highlight stickers to draw attention to specific moments on screen. Just make sure to apply a simple animation to them. A quick fade in and fade out is enough to keep it clean and professional. If needed, you can also add small sound effects to make the motion feel more alive. As you can see, I prefer not to insert text using auto-click features. I write everything manually so I can customize the font style, position, and colors one by one. All the remaining steps follow the same process. We add the character, animate it using keyframes, apply a blur effect, then add a fade out at the end before moving on to the next character. It's very easy. You just need to keep going and never lose hope. Keep trying and trying until you make it, brother.
Next, we import the background music we downloaded earlier and place it under the voiceover. Then we lower the volume slightly so it doesn't overpower the narration. It should support the voice, not compete with it. Once everything is aligned and polished, our video is basically ready. Before exporting, it's always a good idea to play it one last time to check timing, transitions, and animations. After that, we can export the video. Here's an example of a video I created earlier. You can watch it here so you can compare the structure and style. You, yes you. You dream of a shredded six-pack. But every vacation comes around and boom, you've got a belly like a big egg. Let me fix that. Here's the truth. Doing 100 ab reps won't burn fat and it won't build muscle either. That's just 100 reps of wasting time. If you want a real six-pack, train your abs like any other muscle. 8 to 15 reps with tension, control, and progression. Stop chasing the burn. Start chasing progress. Want a power boost before your workout? With no crash? Try this. Here's a little hack for your morning. Banana plus coffee equals clean, lasting energy, so you kill your workout instead of dragging through it. Step 1. Grab one medium banana. Natural sugars plus potassium equals your muscles and nerves wake up. Step 2. Brew your coffee. Your brain gets alert. Metabolism ticks up. Step 3. Eat the banana before or with the coffee. This matters. The banana stabilizes your blood sugar and cuts the crash that coffee by itself can bring.